Hello YouTube and this is your host Charlie007 and today we're going to be continuing part 2 of the World of Warships Explained series that I'm coming out with 10 episodes I do believe we're going to have. Now, in the first video I explained weaving, going from side to side, it's a great tactic you can use. Not as easy as the higher you go up because the battleships uh, get less and less manoeuvrable further you go up. And also leading your target, so predicting where they're going to be. And also prior, prior, blah, blah, prioritizing targets uh, based on what the, they are. So if it's a battleship, you want to prioritize that target. Now if you have a cruiser that's closer, the battleship is going to is less likely to hit you from a range of 15 kilometers upwards. So if he's over 15 kilometers, you know that if you weave a little bit, he's going to, it's going to be almost impossible for him to hit you. So you can focus more on the cruiser that's closer, which you're more likely to one shot. So this is the kind of prioritizing targets, you know, you've got to prioritize the right ones. If you prioritize the battleship in that instance, the cruiser is more likely to get more damage on you because he has a far rate of fire, higher level of damage and uh, can probably kill you. Um, so you want to focus on the target that's closest if the battleship is within 15 kilometers and up. If he's not and he's closer, then you either pray to God or Stalin <laughs> that they don't decide to both fire on you or you should help, hopefully have some help from your teammates or just notify the carrier on your team that the, uh, you, you need uh, the battleship taken care of. So without further ado, let's play some battleships. Oh, as you'll notice, my chair has become incredibly creaky, even though I've had it for about a month and a half now. I have no idea why it is. I built the thing myself. Well, anything I build either ends up on fire or creaky, so actually I'm not really surprised that it's gone creaky. We are in a battle. Hopefully it'll put us in an even matchmaker. There's a lot of people at tier 6. Fault line. We are in a tier 6 battle. Fantastic. However, there's more tier 6s on their team. Oh my god. There's three tier fusos, and we only have one fuso. Whereas we have three Congos, and they have one. Co oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Why can't it just put one Congo more on their team? Because it has the numbers. That makes no sense. Why not put one fuso on our team, one Congo on our tier team? That makes absolutely no sense. What the hell? Anyway, right. So on this map, we are going to go to the. It's all about picking the right position because if you get the right position, um, I predict that most of the battleships should go down here. So I'm going to head over here because I need to be where the enemy battleships are because although we have Congos, the Fuso has two more turrets, so it's. 0.3536 something we'll say a third times more likely to hit the target um, let's see yeah a whole 50% more likely compared to the uh, uh, Fuso and the Congo so we're going to go down this right side all the battleships are going with us which is to be predicted because they're probably going to think Ooh, let's stick with the biggest ship on our team he probably knows what he's doing well most of the time I don't but YOLO <laughs> where's that battleship oh the battleship is going to go on that side okay so I need to turn around and um, get my guns on the other side as you'll notice battleship guns turn really slow Uh, on this game so if you turn somewhere make sure you have your guns ready when you turn there's all cruisers down that side so I think some of them are in range although I doubt we'll be able to hit them be very lucky if we do uh, let's see let's go for the destroyer no oh battleship should be in range Let's load armor piercing. That 
cruiser is just the Peniscola is just out of range. I don't know what's firing that. The battleship is in range. So we're going to lead him by about that much because he's going considerably slow. Let's launch the scout because we have planes heading our way. Yep. And the scout. Those planes are going to be focused on me because I am the only tier 6 uh, battleship. So if the carrier can take me out, then he'll be sitting pretty. Right, that shot was a bit rushed because we're more focused on the enemy planes that are heading our way. Come on, turn, 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 turn. I'm not going to use that repair yet because those torpedoes are heading over here. Come on, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. One more, one more. Good. Right, now I'm going to use the repair. Because say a torpedo hit me and I'd already used the repair, well, I can't well use it again, can I? So, let's lead him by, save that much. And now he's going to get some good hits on us. Oh, those are some good hits and a lot of damage, so we're going to use the health bar and get back up to health. Uh... Did we hit anything? Oh, three good hits, and we're going to use some of that weaving I was talking about. Turn into the right for 15 seconds. We're going to open fire. See that all the shots missed because we weaved. Now we're going to weave again. Half our guns are going to be loaded because we have a separate and the auto aim is on that one. That's frustrating. Although I like that feature, it, it is kind of frustrating when there's more than one target. And you're trying to shoot more than one target and it doesn't let you. There we go. Now we're going to. Need a bit more, a little bit less next time. Got four hits then, so a bit about about twelve thousand damage just over, which is a good amount. Now there is hardly anyone on this side apart from a cruiser, so we need carriers. Uh, H. What fired at us? That would be fascinating to know how they still know where we are. Yep, the scout is returning to ship. Ah, it'll be the planes, the planes. Now, what you can do as a carrier, which I'll be demonstrating in my carrier demonstration episode, um, is you can use carrier to scout, and you can use the fighter planes to scout uh, with carriers. Now, there's the battleship. Is he in range? No, he is very far from in range and the battleships are over there so now we're going to have to turn our guns we're going to turn around but we're going to turn our guns now this is a bit risky but it just means that we're in preparation straight off the bat come on turn there we go just means that we have all our guns facing the way we want them to when we're turning rather than turn them after you've turned because then it takes longer to get them your guns to bear. Now we're just going to turn around. We're sort of, at the moment, we're going to be running away from the enemy because we would never survive a fight against three enemy battleships um, on our own. So it's a little bit unfair, the odds. Now this guy is almost in range. So we're just going to turn. Lead him by quite a bit. Uh, I fear not enough. Nope, we led him too much. <laughs> led. 
Right, these just they're coming after me, are they? No, they're going after the uh, cruiser. It's easier for a cruiser to avoid torpedoes um, than it is for a battleship. Uh, way, watch your oh, there's the battleships. I did not see that, and I apologise for that, guys. If you did see that, all oh, those torpedoes might hit, you know. All right, now we're going to focus our fire, use the repair. Come on, aim. Oh. Speaking of which, uh, scenario has just happened where we've got a cruiser and a battleship. I want to focus on the cruiser. Give me the cruiser. There we go. I'm going to use this weaving. Oh, let's turn to the left now. That was a good spread. That's going to get a nice amount of damage. 13,000. We've taken the majority of his health. Oof. We're going to use one of our healths. We're going to turn to the right. Oh, we just used the repair, but at least we have a fast repair time because I've given my commander the perk of it. What is that? Fuso. What we'll do is we'll turn to the right here. Yep. And use the scout. Didn't lead him enough. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Rather. Nope, we didn't lead him enough. He is using that barrage where you just hold down the mouse button, and as you can see, we are on fire, so let's use the repair. We've taken a lot of fire to our rear. We should be fine for now. There's my scout doing the work for me. And the torpedo bombers are launching and heading my direction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn to the right. Uh, we might be able to just pull this off. Turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. There we go. That was a good spread. Did we hit? Nope, unfortunately not. And the good thing about a battleship being behind you. Whoa, one of those must have hit. God damn it. Right, we're going to come into contact with this battleship here now. So now we're back behind enemy li uh, our lines. So we're going to have a little bit of help from this uh, fuso. And we're going to go around this corner. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is he running away? Well reason I'm running away is because I don't want to get caught in the crossfire more than 16 so mm, should have led him just a little bit more yep now we're gonna go behind it and now we're gonna focus our gun on these guys because he's focused on someone else, so we're going to get some really nice shots in. However, he's seen me. He now he's now going to move. So now we're going to lead him a little bit. I'm going to get a nice spread on him. Beautiful. Right now we're going to turn. Oh my god. He's probably going to get some good hits on us. He set us on fire, destroyed my scout. So now we're going to get. Got some good hits on his set now. Now we're going to turn and use this weave that I was talking about. It doesn't affect much at this close range, but we can still get some good weaves. Uh, he's using his health bar. He predicted wrong where we're going to go. Is there any islands in front of us? Yes, there is. Alright, we're going to get some good shots into this bolt more. Hey, over. Let's 
probably one shot him there we go that's that nuisance dealt with and now we're going to focus on the fuso again he is more preoccupied oh did we win yeah we won fantastic so <laughs> so fraud in that game i didn't even realize we won fantastic so i hope that's demonstrated how to play battleship nice weaving uh, moving about lead your targets it's all about practice obviously i haven't played this game much yet but from what i can show you is what i know about ships in general so in real life and how they apply into the game and also tactics that you can use that are very successful and as you can see we we survived even though we had more of them against us using the weaving and we got a kill and we got 34 direct hits although i would like that to be a little bit higher however i hope you enjoyed this episode this has been charlie Joseph 7 signing off until the next episode in part three of world of warships explained till next time guys bye